Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Beverly. I do things planner related. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for joining us. And if you're coming back, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. So today what we're going to do is the weekly plan with me. Um, it's Friday the 11th, 11-11, and um, we're going to get some stuff done because I'm going to have my grandkids this weekend and I want to get this set up. So um, I'm not sure what time I'll have over the weekend to get it done. So let's see how last week turned out. So this ended up being last week. And again, I'm sorry if it's going to look a little dark. I'm going to try to brighten it up. But Nicole just left our lovely hurricane. And um, it's still dark and cloudy here. And it just stopped raining. So um, we're working with what we got. So um, it ended up being pretty busy. Uh, still working on some things. Like I said, I have the whole weekend. And I had today off. So I was doing some things too. And, um, so anyway, uh, Tropical Storm Nicole's hurricane when it hit, um, and Tropical Storm time it got to us, and then I think it turned into a hurricane again, but I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me. But anyway, very busy. And then these were my days. Um, lots of decluttering done. Um, some stuff done, some stuff not, some notes, and that was my week. Turned out okay. So, let's get this started. Um, I can say, um, uh, this is, uh, I set up this week with y'all last week because I'd already set up last week. And I'm going to leave this as is. I'm not going to set up a new week. I'm going to see if it works for me again this week. As long as the setup is working, then we'll leave it like it is. Or I'll make some adjustments. But I don't want to get too far ahead because I want to make sure what, I, what I'm doing is working. Um, my journaling is working. I already have the date stickers on here. But we'll throw some washi on and a, um, a uh, month sticker. But this is working. So I've been going in on this side and doing just like... A couple of lines a day and um, I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do on this side we're gonna see I'm still I'm still contemplating that um, one I'm out being a little lazy about it because I just I've been really busy and two when I think of something it's just it doesn't sound appealing so this may end up just being like a line a day or you know, a couple of lines a day, or it may end up not working at all. And I may put those couple of lines in my daily pages, um, and see how that goes for a little while. I'm not, I'm not sure this is going to work. I'm not sure I'm a journaling person. Anybody else like that? Like, I'm not, I'm not totally sure that this is kind of what I am. Um, that's what I have figured out with my tracker. I put take this pencil board that I have from Lauren Phelps Designs pencil board and um, I put a tracker on it. This is SM Plans and I shrunk it down. Um, I think I bought it in a B6 and I shrunk it down to this size so it would fit <clears throat> and put it on here. So I was taking it day to day with me so I would learn, I would try to remember. The thing is, I don't need a habit tracker to make sure I'm doing all these things because I do them and half of these things I track on my phone um, I just like my a.m. noon and p.m. like cleaning routine I track on my fly lady app and um, my bills that I do every Friday I I know to do those because if not we don't have electricity and um, my spending and stuff I, I do that automatically and then going to the gym, um, my AM meds, my PM meds, my fluids, my protein, my, my vitamins, and I'm in bed by nine o'clock. I do all those things. I've been doing it. I just don't mark it down. And I don't know that I need to track it just for the sake of tracking. I'm kind of like, why? Why do I need to do this? I don't know. I feel like I need to do it so that I can see that I do it. 
it's part of my goals is to do my habits. Maybe I need new goals. I don't know. What's y'all's thoughts? Let me know. I haven't decided yet. I don't think I'm a tracking person either. So, you know, just is what it is. We do what we do. All right. So this is the month and we are doing the 14th through the 20th. I don't have a lot going on um, at this moment. I don't have any appointments. Um, I have some reminders here, like my insurance is open season and Christmas Story, the movie, the new movie comes out. Um, I'm a lover of the original Christmas Story. I've watched it for years. My kids watch it. It's a great movie and um, it's just a rem reminder that that comes out. And my daughter's going down to Orlando to see some friends um, before they leave. She was part of the Disney college program and made a lot of friends down there. And she's going to see them before they go back to where they live on the other side of the country. So, um, kitchen, I have pretty much almost finished my kitchen projects. We're going to do the countertops this weekend. Um, if it dries up, it has to, it's been raining for days. So we'll see. My front porch is a mess because the hurricane took out most of my stuff. There's leaves everywhere. That's got to get done, but whatever. Outside, I never got outside because of the hurricane. You know, so some things that I was going to get done have been put off a little bit, but I pretty much have it done and there's not much left to do. I could do it in like a week or Black Friday weekend when I'm off. So I'm not worried about my projects getting done. So what I did, because my last video ended up being over an hour, um, I went ahead and drew my lines. So this week, I'll show you, this week what I did was put some stuff I wanted to get done, like my YouTube days on uh, Thursday and Sunday, and then um, a few of my regular things like laundry and things like that on this side here any appointments I would have had here, and then any events throughout the day here. This, I used to only put what we ate or what my meal plan was, but I divided this and ended up putting the weather only because we were planning to get some fall weather <laughs> and it didn't turn out that way. I'm kind of mad about it. We asked Mother Nature for fall in Florida. She said the best she could do was a hurricane and it's still hot and humid outside. You walk outside and it just slaps you in the face. It is so humid, um, but it is what it is. It's Florida, that's the things of living in Florida. So, um, so I think I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna put the weather here um, and my meal plan and then uh, continue to do what I usually do um, because it worked out last week and I'll see if I like it. I think next week I'm gonna, for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna try a different layout. Um, I have one that um, I've been looking at that I think I'm gonna try for next week. So, um, but for this week, I think we're gonna try the same one again. All right. So all I gotta do is throw some washi on it. Sorry, my face did for just a second something about a hurricane. It just comes and kicks up dusts. So that's what that is. It's another lovely thing of living in Florida. The pollen count is horrendous. I just, I'm taking my last set of antibiotics today um, for a sinus infection I had because I had an upper respiratory infection and a sinus infection set in during that time because I had horrible allergies and then they turned into a full-blown problem. And this don't want to know. I left a little bump, so. I'll throw that down there. What are we going to put at the bottom? Some thick. Mm. Do I reach for the same thing over and over again? I want to be like those people that do like a different one or 
all the time, you know, or the different pages look different. I don't know. My brain just won't. I don't know if I'm that person either. If my brain will let me. Um, I'm just making a pile of leftover washi over here. Oh, um, if you haven't watched my videos before, this is Lauren Phelps Design. Um, odd, uh, bring it back, Autumn Bliss collection. It's really pretty. I thought it, you know, kind of looks like Thanksgiving. And I love her florals. She has some amazing florals. Wish I was artistic. I'm not. I'm very logical, and I think that's why it's hard for me to be creative in my planning, too, is because I'm a very logical brain. Um, I'm a nurse, and um, I think you have to be some kind of uh, a little bit, a little bit logical and I don't know, is it right brain or left brain? Whatever the logical brain is, that's the one I am. I, um, my poor kids, when they were little, I was not the one they came to to feel better. It went to my husband. Because I'm a very, if you have a problem, I'll fix it person. I think that's why I always worked in ICU and the ER too, because some of my favorite jobs because they, you know, like you're a fixer, you fix it. And that's how I work. Also, I'm gonna draw a line and I do that. Um, Alistair method on the right here, and there's plenty of videos that can show you the Alistair method uh, way better than I could even begin to tell you uh if you if you're an og planner bullet journal uh you'll remember um boho berry she had these amazing bullet journals and they were gorgeous just gorgeous i, I wish i was a quarter of creative as she was and um it, it was absolutely beautiful some of her layouts and things that she would draw. And, um, wow. But she, uh, I started using the Alistair method way back when she was. <laughs> and um, everybody, it was kind of a, it was kind of a Ray, um, popular thing. I don't know if you can see the November. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it kind of, but it's fine. It's fine for me. I don't, I don't need to see it. Um, these stickers along with my day stickers are a hell of a plan. And I've had those in my past videos too. Again, I'm still trying to use up what I have. So, oh, I forgot to take out my mini days. So I gotta get those out. These are from Caden's mom's shop. And I had these two, and I like the way they look um, because they don't cover up my date. And it kind of makes it look a little, a little fancy because I can't, my writing is not pretty. So if you here for aesthetic doodling or writing or hand, um, handwriting. I ain't the one. I I ain't it. I will tell you right up front, I ain't it. I ain't gonna be it. No way, shape, or form or I, am I a pretty writer, an aesthetic doodler, um, a beautiful layout. Even when I'm in a B6, it's usually very, very functional, and the most creative I get are other people's stickers and other people's washi. 
and that's fine for me. Um, but it, I just, I'm not, I'm not that. Um, what else can I do? I have my stickers, I have my washi, I have my Alistair method. I don't have any holidays. Let's see. I don't have, this is, so I have open season starts for my insurance. This is the 17th. This is Christmas story. They better not mess it up. I'm going to be so upset. Unpopular opinion. I, I liked Hocus Pocus too, but it was not what I thought it was going to be. I guess. And um, I think it could have been a little more. But that's just me. And I love the Christmas story and it is iconic. It's I just don't want them to ruin it for me. But I can always go back to the original. I don't have a problem with that. And I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any appointments. This is my just my blotter. And with this gel pen, I absolutely have to have it. This inner gel. So this does not go... This is not what I usually use in here. I usually use um, a retro uh, ball... Um, my retro pen. It, uh, I don't have my other one. But anyway, I lost it last night. And I was in bed planning like I normally do. And um, I'm going to put in my stuff that I want to get done uh, through the week. I lost it last night in bed um, when I was planning. And I don't think I'll need this anymore. No, I hope my line's wrong. Um, and so this was next to my bed. I always keep usually one next to my bed. And I love this pen. This is my favorite pen. I use it. I have used it religiously for years. I have a, a ton of these refills in the 0.7 and the 1.0. Like, I love them. But all this does is make me want to get a B6 Dology. No lie because that paper took this pen so well. It was it was smoothed right on, and I love it. It smears in here because it's time of river paper, and the gel does not do well in here, but man, I love me a good gel pen. I'm a gel connoisseur. We'll, we'll call it a connoisseur. I was going to use another one, but I figured YouTube would ban me or something. Um, because I'm definitely that for a good gel pen. Uh, Tuesday. This, I'm going to try to dust here. And the last Wednesday, Wednesday. It's another Insta day. Another plant day. Another laundry day. You'll see a pattern. <laughs> uh, but if I don't follow my pattern, then I, you know, like we're all creatures of habit, right? You are your habits. That's what they say. So this is a YouTube day. This is a mop and back day. Um, Friday is an Insta day. Plant day. Laundry day. Laundry, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If not, I don't stay on top of it. Um, is that it? I'm looking at my list I have posted over y'all's head. <laughs> so I don't forget. Uh, because I will, I, I will forget. Or you'll just see in me, like, going back and forth. Um, 
So this is Saturday. Usually don't do anything on Saturday because it's usually a day of, um, you know, spending it with my family or um, running errands with my husband or whatever. Um, boxes and trash. What else? This is a meal plan day. And a bills day. Yeah, so I don't forget. Okay. That seems about right. And sorry, I have to turn mine sideways. I can't write straight. <laughs> I never got that down. All right, and what do I want to bring over? Let me blot this. It's probably still going to smear, but I have to find my other pen. <laughs> okay. We still didn't get a petty, so that's going to be put off another till this week again because we could only go Wednesday and Thursday, and of course the hurricane was here. Um, I did, I decluttered almost my entire kitchen. Oh, you know what? I do have, um, a flu shot, but I'll have to look and see when that is. I'm not sure. I do have that though. I know that. Um... I need to make the dogs a reservation at my sitters. I need to book a hotel. We're gonna go on a little holiday. Um, and I gotta have my dog sitter come and stay. I have two dogs. I have a bulldog that I've had uh, we've had since 2019, we adopted her. She was part of a breeding and fight ring and she's a sweet little dog. She's very sweet. Oh, I say little, she's 70 pounds. And um, my, my weather, I'll have to get off my phone. And I haven't meal planned. It's Friday, but I still haven't meal planned even though I've had the day off and done nothing. I sat around today. Well, I run some errands and I went shopping with my daughter, but I didn't do any housework today because I'm just not up to it. We did laundry and stuff, but I haven't meal planned or paid my bills yet, so I still got to do that. But that's honestly, that's all I have. I know I had some stuff left to do in the kitchen. We're gonna, oh, I'm gonna finish the counters this week. We're redoing our counters. Um, I did that. Oh, I was gonna get uh, my under my sink. When we bought this house, they had had a nasty leak and we ripped all of that underneath the sink out and we still haven't replaced it and I've got to get the measurements to replace it um, because I wanna get that done. Um, I think that's it. Like I said, I'm, I was been decluttering like crazy. Oh, I wanna do my bathroom this week. Um, I want to declutter it and go through it. It's not very big, so it, I mean, that'll take me just a little bit. Um, I do want to go through uh, my dresser drawers. There's some stuff I can declutter in there. I want to go through my closet again. Because I know there's some stuff I can throw away. I had some stuff given to me and I threw some stuff out. And I need to declutter it and get it. And then um, we 
got all of our winter stuff out of storage and I've finally got it washed and I can go through it and make sure it gets to somebody before it gets cold here, um, to somebody that can use it. Cause I know there's some stuff in there I'm gonna declutter and get rid of and get, make my husband go through his stuff. Um, and I think that's enough. I'm also getting ready for this week for Thanksgiving. I have some stuff. Oh, there is a list of things I need to do this week. Let me look, let me look. So I am hosting um, Thanksgiving for my husband's family. And so that's gonna be about 30 people at our house. And I made a list of things I need to do. I've also started to plan for a Christmas party. <laughs> and now my daughter wants to have a New Year's Eve party. Um, so we'll see, we're gonna be busy. Uh, let's see. The week before, I need to clean up. Hope I do that anyway, pick up garage. We did that, we did declutter our garage last week, uh, last weekend, so that's good. Um, uh, tea day supplies. So I need to get those ordered. Uh, I gotta put in a Sam's order. Uh, defrost turkey. I'll put that out on like Saturday so that it's good and defrosted because I have two of them, one I'm baking and one my husband's frying and the one that he's frying has to really be thought out. Um, serving dishes, I need to get all of those down out of the top of my cabinet and wash them. And I have to get my husband to help me with that because he's the tall guy of the family. Uh, baking dishes, I did all that already. I did that yesterday. We're gonna clean the chairs. I keep a stack of chairs out in my garage and they're really gonna have to be cleaned up. Those and the portable tables we have because when we have parties, we have big parties. 30 people is just our immediate family. It's not even um, friends. And then playlist. I wanna make a playlist and get my daughter to help me and my son to make a playlist for music for the Thanksgiving day. Cause there's really no Thanksgiving day station that you can put on. So this, I just made a list. So week before, week of, night before and day of, of things as I think of them and go through them that I know I needed to do to get ready. And I just used half the page. So I'll come down here for Christmas party, for my Christmas party, and I'll do the same thing. And then if we do have a New Year's Eve party, I'll probably even be able to use this for that. Um, so this is very helpful for, for me. It helps me focus. It's not a bunch of stuff dumped on a page. Um, I've never been one of those people that could take a brain dump and then make some sense out of it. What I do is I brain dump and then I categorize onto like post-it notes or something because I really, if it gets too jumbled, I get overwhelmed. Um, like I had, like I had, um, this is just notes, but uh, this was supposed to be for Thanksgiving and I started a list of things I know I was gonna make or whatever and I tried to make a Christmas, like a shopping list, but I got too overwhelmed. And this is like too, too, too overwhelming. So I had to go up here and it was too cluttered for me. So I had to go here and then I made a list of all the things I'm gonna be making, all of the things that I were gonna need for that. And then here I put like a simple timeline um, of like when my turkey needs to go in, when my casserole needs to go in, when we're having lunch here that I'm hosting, and then when my husband needs to put on the, to fry the turkey, and then what time we need to be at my family's house to have Thanksgiving there, because we always do two Thanksgivings, so, um, and I'll have to have everybody cleaned up and out by, you know, 3.30 here, so I could be there at 4, so it's, 
I was trying to put like a timeline of kind of when things need to go in according to, you know, how long they need to cook and things like that. So this is going to cook from six to nine, nine-ish. Because a 16 pound turkey is about three hours or so. So I was trying to get my brain in the right order. And this helped, this helped a lot. So I don't know if that helps y'all showing that. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, I've taken up time, but um, anyway. All right, so I think that's about it. I'm sure as the week goes on and we get closer to Thanksgiving that I'll need to add some stuff because like last week, there was only a few things on here. Now it's full. <laughs> It's always the way it ends. So this is where my week ended. I still haven't filled out Saturday and Sunday, but I'll do that tonight. And this is gonna start Monday. So let's do that. So because of this gel pen, I have been down a rabbit hole of wanting to go back to astrology. So much so, um, I was watching some videos and um, I was like, oh, I miss my astrology. I miss it. But I just, I don't need that room anymore. Like, um, I just don't. I don't need the B6 room that I had. Um, I mean, it's so so much so that like I can reach right here right here and here's the b6 that was in my planner graveyard video because I was looking at it and flipping through it and I was like oh the paper I love the paper it's so pretty <laughs> ah. I was like no Beverly don't do it don't do it and then I went to the extreme of maybe I can cut one down to weak size I know a lot of people do that. Uh, I know, um, you know, you see a lot of people that have cut them down. I was looking at the uh, freckles, speckle, something. They had one uh, that just came out. And then, um, but it was a little, I, I don't know that I'd like that one. I know it's Tomo River paper too. Um, but I really don't, I mean, I'm enjoying this. I wanna know, I, I wanna finish the year out in this, but listen, I've gotten it so chunky that this has, this has come up. I've broken the spine. Um, so, and I still have a whole, another month to go, uh, six weeks, uh, including this week. So I'm <laughs> hoping it holds. If it falls apart, there may be astrology in my future because it's already set up and I wouldn't have to do much to hop in it. Um, but I mean, I could hop in my new one. I could hop in my 2023 one, but I wanted to kind of wait but it may be in, I mean, it may be inevitable. I may end up in it if this one doesn't hold together. I don't know. If it, if it doesn't hold together, it may be, maybe is what it is. And, um, is that right? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 20, yeah. And I don't have, that many pages left. I don't know if I'm going to make it a whole month. I may end up having to jump in mid-December anyway, just because I'm going to run out of pages. I knew it was going to be pushing it. I knew I was going to be down to the wire to get December in here. Um, but we'll see. I'm playing it by ear. We'll see how it goes. And these floating tabs are not the business. I can't, I'm not going to do a review on them because I'm not going to, I think it's me. I don't think it's the tabs. I, I'm pretty sure it's me. It's, I just, 
like I keep kicking them off and they go flying. I, I lose them. Um, I can't like, I can't make them stay on. You come in, honey. I'm just recording and playing with me. I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to nobody. Whoever watches this, I'm talking to. <laughs> um, but they just don't work. And I just, I can't. They work great. And that's why I think it's me. They work great for the ones that I don't take on and off every day. Like the month, the, my to-do, my inbox my budget, those stay on great, but like the ones I, like my week and my days where I have to move them, just doesn't work. They, they, they get too loose, I think. And I'm just throwing down some washi. And this, I'm just ripping. So it's kind of irregular. I kind of like the way it looks. Um, but uh, anyway, what do y'all have planned for Thanksgiving? Anything good? I went to the Dollar Tree today and looked at their Christmas stuff. They have some cute stuff. They're kind of up in their game. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I won't set up my Monday until Sunday night. So I don't really do anything with these until Sunday night usually. I think last week I did. Oh, uh, I do usually go in and do my little thing, don't I? With y'all. Do at least time them and sometimes I'll throw in like if I know I have an appointment for that day but like I said I don't really have anything this week which just means I have I'll have more stuff to do that's still in frame can y'all see that sorry for the interruption my husband just got home from work and got home a little late I was trying to get it done before he got home, but I ended up taking too long again. These end up being ranty or chatty. I even tried to prep ahead a little bit, but I guess that doesn't work. How long is this video getting? Like 30 to 40 minutes. I guess it's better than the hour it was because this is almost done. The um, video before this was my Mo Term review. I still haven't done anything with it. I was going to get some weather conditioner this weekend when I go to town. I guess I could have picked up some today. I was in town. I just didn't think about it. We were picking up paint and stuff. Um, let's see. That helps. I guess you'll know next week because I'll either be in it or I won't. I'm still waiting on my vegetable tan um, leather one to come. I think it's supposed to be here next week. So next Thursday may be another Mo Term review. I don't know. I have to wait and see if it shows up. Not the one I pre-ordered, but the one I actually ordered on um, AliExpress. I think the ones we pre-ordered won't be here until like January, which is fine. I mean, I have enough to tide me over. So 
Now there's all of those. I don't date the weekend or time the weekend. So those are my days. And then that's my week. And I'll fill that up as it goes. That's my month. And that's just as it goes. Oh, my journal, which, oh, we were gonna put some washi on. Like I said, I don't know if I'm a journaling girl. I just, I don't know. I feel like I should be for some reason. I don't know why, but I just, like, I feel like if I have something that's significant enough to journal or write something about, I'll just do it in my days. Like, I don't have enough to journal about. Maybe I'm boring. I'm not sure. Um, sorry about the crinkling noise. That was my pile of washi. Uh, maybe I'm just not interesting enough or... I just don't feel like I have to write every like little bit down. Um, oh, I'm running out of Novembers. <laughs> I have to get another one of these just for November stickers. Um, or, you know, I can always flip to the back just like a bullet journal and if I have something to journal I can just you know I think y'all got a peek in my budget back there but that's fine I haven't written anything in yet um I can just flip to a blank page and write out what I need and do that or if we go on vacation I can put aside a couple of spreads because I want to be doing daily planning and journal and do a little memory keeping or something I don't know I'm just not a journal girl, I don't think. And then this is working. So I put my spending in here and then it goes to my budget in the back. So that's working. Is it keeping me on budget? No, but it, I write it down. All right, so that's it. I think that's it for this plan with me. I think that's everything. Um. So if you have any questions, like always, just put them in the comment box below and I'll answer them. What's your plans for 2023? Do you have plans yet? Do you know what you're gonna do? Are you still figuring it out? Did you decide and then undecide? Because <laughs> I've seen a lot of that. So tell me what you're doing. Give me ideas, all right? So if you like this kind of thing, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, come back. And until next time, see y'all later. Bye.